Welcome to Easy Land. Today we are going to talk about how to play Pico 8 on Android devices. I know that this is one thing that many people are thinking about when they want to consider the RG Cube by Ambronic, but not sure how to do it on Android devices. So I actually covered it in my previous video on the Ultimate Android Setup Guide, but I just want to address it here again. So um, I'm going to clip that exact part in this video. So so that we can learn again on how to play Pico 8. It is actually quite easy, but there are a few things you have to download beforehand. All the links are in description box. First of all, go to RetroArt official site and go to the download tab, then find Android version and download the 64-bit one. Next, you can either go to my Google Drive to download the Fig 8 core, which I have already renamed for you, but a older version or you can go to their official github page here i will put down the link in the description box then you can scroll down download android liberto zip file so after downloading it you will see there is a fake a liberto info and lips folder here then you see two different calls so since we are going to use the ARM64 version, this is the one we have to extract. Okay, so uh, now I have extracted it and then we'll have to rename this uh, ARM64 one into this naming. And now we are done, we can put this file onto our SD card and then follow the instructions of installing a core. For those who's wondering why I have to specify it as ARM64 version or 64-bit, because I've already tried the Google Play version and the 32-bit version, but it just doesn't work on those two. Okay, now I want to explain how to install Core separately, and we are going to use uh, the uh, Pickle Core as an example. So uh, you want to go to the folder that you have stored your core and this is my SD card. If you cannot find it, you just want to go back to the parent document until you find some kind of uh, number string that is actually indicating your SD card. Don't go to the SD card because that is actually the internal storage. Okay, so uh, here I store my core in this folder and i want to click it to install it and now we have installed it you'll see core installation blah 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 now we want to load the core we see that we have pickle 8 fake 8 this is the core that i just installed click it and then we want to load content so this is how we can load our content we want to go to the place where i saw my Pico 8 and then here Pico 8 you are showing as a PNG file and now here it is. This is this how we can play Pico 8? If you have successfully installed the core, however, your Pico 8 image is only showing as a PNG, you want to go to Settings, User Interface, File Browser, and then turn off the Use Built-in Image Viewer in order to show it as a game instead of an image. So if you find these buttons layout overlay is a little bit too annoying you want to change it it is actually very easy so just remember that we have already set up our um, our hotkey here click uh click select and start okay so now we have bring up the quick menu and then we want to go to the on-screen overlay if you just want to turn off everything you can just turn on the on-screen overlay, then there will be nothing like this. But if you are like me, you want to have a little bit of spice and want it to look better. Actually, we can change it. So uh, I want to show you a little bit of my 
basil collection and you will also find my basils collection or overlay collection uh, in the description box so um, if you want them you can also go there to download it so where I store my basils are exactly as the same folder where I store this core okay so I have some overlays here and then here we have the pickle overlay so I select it the We'll see one overlay here, but then this overlay is not at the right scale, so we have to change it. Now, if you want the overlay to be not transparent, then we can change the value to 1. Yeah, I know it's a lot to scroll. And it will bring you to the top if you overly scroll it. So that's what I did. Anyways, um, we want to also change the scale. So we don't want to be automatically scaled. We turn this off and then we can adjust the scale of this overlay. You want to make it a little bit bigger so that it doesn't overlap with your screen. And we have to adjust it. Uh, and it also depends on each devices, so we don't have a concrete number here. For example, this is right at the right scale, so if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can still do so, but maybe we'll get some basils. But I think this is the right scale. So that's how you can change the basils and make it look a lot better. And this is how you can play Pickle 8. Okay, so when you click back to the quick menu, you can also close the content and save days. These are just very simple stuff. Now, luckily we didn't close the app. We still have that configuration. But every time if you have configured something for the core, you want to click the quick menu and then go to overrides and then save core overrides and this will help you to uh, remember this override for the whole core and you will not have to set it up over and over again for each game and that's pretty much about today's video i hope it helps you and i am also interested in the embernate rg cube i don't think i will get any sponsor or affiliation from that but i will keep an eye on it to see if i'm buying it in fact it's actually releasing tomorrow so i will have to think about that tonight and i'll see you in my next video bye